Thank, uh, thank you. Other questions? Nope. Uh, continuing, uh, we're going to recognize uh, Sam Kanji and Elise uh, Levine Kanji. Thank you, Chairs uh, Deer, Decker, and Sear. My name is Elise Levine Kanji, and my son Sam and I are here today to testify in support of the Operation House Call Bill, House 2221, Senate 1398, and the Hospital Training Bill, Senate 1401. These bills would make a significant impact on the lives of so many through training students and current hospital professionals and the best practices for treating people with intellectual and developmental disabilities, including autism. We urge you to pass them both out of committee promptly. I can go now. My name is Ham Kanji. I have autism and a lot of my friends have autism. It is very important for me in the medical field to know the best way to care for people who have autism so that we can all stay healthy and happy. My family and I have hosted all patient house call students for the past 10 years. I also have been a co-teacher at UMass Memorial and Harvard Medical Schools. I really love, love teaching medical and nursing students about what it is like to have autism. My main message is that no one should underestimate the ability of someone who has autism. It doesn't matter where on the spectrum someone is, they can still understand and do a lot more than people think. For instance, I live in my own apartment in Plymouth. I plan and cook on my own meals like boiling steak and pork chops or baking chicken and fish. I work at Marshalls two or three days a week, organizing the shops. I really love working at Marshalls because I like getting the shops ready so, so that I can give the customers a lot of great choices. I have my drive's license in fast and gas. I can also speak French, play the cello, and love watching and playing sports in Plymouth. I'm supported by a program called Life, which means living in Pentony Baba. I have five hours of staff support each week. It is important for medical professionals to know the best ways to communicate with people who have autism. I explain that it is best to speak clearly and to the point and not to use a lot of unnecessary language. Medical professionals may also want to write important phrases down or use visuals like drawings. When I see things written down or as a picture, it helps me understand it. Remember, for instance, once my doctor wants me to lose some weight, I didn't know how to do that. Finally, my mom made me a food chart divided into protein, starch, and fruits and vegetables. The chart helped me understand exactly what food I should limit to help me lose weight. To conclude, I want to thank you for all the important work you do. I hope people to pass the office and house bill in the hospital train bill at community committee. These bills will help medical professionals care for and treat people like me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm testifying personally and also as an eight year executive committee member of Advocates for Autism of Massachusetts. AFAM was founded in 2004 to be a statewide grassroots advocacy vehicle for people with autism, their families, and the professionals who support them. When Sam was first diagnosed with autism in 2000, his pediatrician and most of the medical professionals we interacted with seemed to know very little about autism. In fact, a few years after Sam was diagnosed, his pediatrician called me and asked me if he could give my name to other families whose newly diagnosed children to share what I had learned. We've made a lot of progress since then, but these bills could ensure that medical understanding of autism is more robust and widespread. This is essential given that autism research continues to evolve rapidly and that the number of people diagnosed with autism continues to increase. When Sam was diagnosed in 2000, the CDC estimated that one in 150 children had autism. That number has now grown to one in 36 or almost 28 of every 1,000 American children. A 2018 study found that children with autism were twice as likely as those with other disabilities to have unmet health care needs and that nearly one in five autistic children had gone without a needed medical or mental health service. Clearly, if medical providers don't realize how autism may impact a person's presentation or ability to communicate, they may be less able to treat the non-autism related medical issue, leading to worse health outcomes for autistic patients.
As Sam said, our family has been involved with Operation House Call for 10 years. Many of the students we've met through OHC have never met anyone with autism, <coughs> excuse me, for, before meeting Sam. The opportunity to observe and talk with Sam will help them when they meet autistic patients during future office visits. The students always have so many questions, ranging from strategies to examining patients with autism to how to discuss sensitive topics with parents. For these reasons and more, I respectfully urge you to pass both Senate 1398, House 2221, and Senate 14 out of, 1401 out of committee as soon as possible. Thank you very much for your consideration and for the important work you do every day to improve people's lives in the Commonwealth. Thank, thank you for your testimony and, and Sam, thank you for, for, for being here and, and, and sharing uh, your experience and, and all the work that you do. Uh, no problem, Senator. Yeah, I, we, we, no, we're not going to ask you. Like, no, you can. Who, Go ahead. Who wants your birthday? When's your birthday? We'd like my to birthday? birthdays, but it's My birthday, birthday is January 19th, you have 1986. You know what? What day of the week will it be next year? Sunday, 1986. You are born on a I Sunday. Was, I was born on a Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that now. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, I really appreciate thank you, Lincoln. Bye. Yeah, I just want to say thank you also, Sam. You and your mom are the best experts that um, both we all need as legislators as well as medical providers. So thank you for being so generous and being such a leader. You're welcome. Thank you. Senator Timothy, a tough act to follow. <laughs> 